So one of the questions that I get asked a ton is, what's the process to actually go ahead and create content? How do we put all that together? And that's what we're gonna cover in this episode. All right, so creating content isn't rocket science. I'm gonna give you a very simple framework to follow um, in order to effectively and quickly create a whole bunch of content. Now content, real quick, is the lifeline of your business. If you don't create content, you don't, you don't put it out there, you're gonna have a harder time seeing people here and learn about your business. So you wanna be putting out content and you wanna be doing it consistently, meaning you wanna be on a regular basis, on a regular posting schedule, putting content out there on on social media, specifically Facebook, Instagram, TikTok is growing like crazy right now. So wherever you can put content, the better it's gonna be for you. So let me walk you through five simple steps on how you can do this and how you can create content effectively for you. Step number one is to set aside time to batch content. So what I mean by that is schedule time in your day or in your week where you're gonna create similar types of content. I like to do this, maybe schedule a whole morning or a whole afternoon, and then do all of my Instagram posts together or all of my reels slash TikTok together or all of my stories together or whatever it is I'm working on, do that same type of content together versus spreading it all, all over the place. So I will then, and I'd also set aside, like this is about how much I wanna get done. I wanna get a week's worth of content done, a month's worth of content, three days, whatever it is, batch that together, schedule time to do that. Step number two then is have a calendar of what you're looking to do in the coming days and months. Now, if you use our Food and Ice platform, foodandice.com, we give you every month a marketing calendar, which is a resource that you can use to effectively and easily promote your business. We tell you every single day what you should be posting for your business. So set aside and look at that and say, okay, over the next say week or two or three or four of my business, this is what's going on. You can refer to that calendar and you can also look in your own business and think, okay, coming up is this holiday or the school schedule is changing or we're going to be at this event or whatever is going on. Make sure you see that on your calendar and then plan some content around that. So for example, if Mother's Day is coming up and you want to schedule some content specific for Mother's Day, Pad that on your calendar and know, okay, leading up to Mother's Day, maybe we're gonna do a promo on Mother's Day. So for two or three or four days ahead of that, I wanna make sure that I promote that and I and I let people know that's happening. And then the day on Mother's Day, we're gonna do a happy Mother's Day post and we're gonna talk about whatever promo we're doing. Just using that as an example. So have a calendar and know what you plan on intend do and what you intend on doing in the next coming days or weeks or however long you're gonna schedule your content for. Now, step number three is to use templates. And this is gonna make your life so much easier instead of constantly reinventing the wheel, use templates. And this is how we use it to promote our business. So I use our platform, foodandice.com, and I go into there and I'll say, okay, here's, I want to, I want to post something about maybe our product and show some of our food today. So I'll take a template out of food and ice and I'll, I like the way it looks. I like the design of it. And I'm going to use that specific template to showcase my food, or maybe it's going to be talking about our, our business or, or showing our shop or talking about the founders or whatever it is that you're doing, find templates that you like that you can easily then edit and make some changes to, to promote your specific business. And that's step number four is editing those templates. So we use Canva, we're partnered with Canva, and it's really easy to say, I like this template that you find in Food and Ice and it'll open up inside of Canva and now you can make changes to it. Maybe you wanna put your logo on or change your colors or put your own picture in of your food or your staff or your customers or whatever it may be. You can make a couple of simple changes there inside of Canva and get your post all ready to go the branding on point, and it's something that you want, to, you want to share to showcase your business. And then the fifth step of this framework is to now go ahead and schedule that content. There's a lot of apps, a lot of platforms you can use to do this. My favorite right now is Facebook Business Suite, and I like it because it's free, and it's built into Facebook slash Instagram, and it'll automatically post for you. So you can sit down today and schedule out your content for the next two, three, four weeks, two, three, four months, however long you want to go. You can schedule that all inside the Facebook Business Suite and then it's ready to go and it's ready to post. It's not something you have to remember every day. Shoot, I need to go post that. I need to go post that. Now that's for static posts and stories. That doesn't necessarily work for reels, but you can create a bunch of content for reels save them inside of your Instagram or inside of your TikTok if you can do TikTok uh, videos and have those ready to go for you. So it still makes it easier. But if you can schedule as much as you can in Facebook business suite, there's nothing better going into a week knowing that your, your content is ready to go. All of your marketing is ready to go. Everything's scheduled for you. And it's, and you don't have to worry about that stuff because you've already done, you've already set it up. So this is a very simple framework that you can use to create content real quick. Again, the five steps, 
Number one, schedule or set aside time to batch your content together, create similar types of content all in the same chunk of time. Don't try to go all over the place in the same chunk of time, create similar types of content. Number two, use a calendar um, so you know what's coming up in the next coming days and weeks in your business. What are things, what are events, what are things that are happening you want to promote around or you want to share around or you want to talk about, whatever it is, have a calendar ready to go. I like the calendars that we provide in Food and Ice. You can make some tweaks to that as well for your specific situation, but that's a good calendar you can start with. Step number three is using templates. Again, use Food and Ice for this. And there you can find hundreds of templates that you can use. Makes it just makes it easier to create content for you. Step number four is edit those templates inside of Canva. Get the colors on point, the branding on point. Put your logo in, put your pictures in. All that process just takes minutes uh, on each individual post. This isn't something that needs to take a long time. And then step number five is schedule that inside of, of an app. I like Facebook Business Suite. The other ones that are really good are later.com and Plannerly. Um, those are great uh, resources for you as well. So that's five simple steps, a very simple framework for you to very quickly, easily create content to share, to promote your business. So I hope that was helpful. If you have questions on anything, you'd like to ask anything, Please send me a direct message. You can do that through Instagram on my uh, Mr. Scomo page. You can do it on Facebook. You can do it in our Facebook group. There's a bunch of ways to get in touch with me. Uh, you can leave it in the comments here. Please send me a, a question if something you want me to address in a future episode. Thanks for listening to this one. Thanks for tuning in. I'll talk to you soon.